The U.S. military has started building a large floating pier off Gaza's coast to facilitate the delivery of humanitarian aid. Now, American military's estimates the floating pier will cost over $320 million for 90 days and will involve about 1,000 U.S. service members, mostly from the Army and Navy. When asked about the costs, Senator Roger Wicker, who is the top Republican on the Democratic-led Senate Armed Services Committee, said, and I'm going to quote him here, the cost was not just, has not just risen, it has exploded. This dangerous effort will with marginal benefit will now cost the American taxpayers at least $320 million to operate the pier for only 90 days. Now, Washington said that the pier will be operational by early May, but there will be no U.S. boots on the ground in Gaza. Next up, let's take a look at how temporary dock for Gaza aid would work. Beginning with a procurement of aid, the pier will initially enable the transfer of about 90 truckloads of aid per day and will eventually ramp up to 150 truckloads per day at full capacity. And once aid reaches the shore, relief organizations will then distribute it within the needy Palestinians. A majority of the aid will be food collected from several countries and transported to the Larnaca port in Cyprus. A spokesperson for the U.S. Agency for International Development, which is working closely with the military to coordinate plans for the pier, said that some of the items that would come through the maritime corridor would include nutrient-dense food bars sourced from Dubai, foods intended to treat severe malnutrition in children sourced from Kenya, and relief supplies, including hygiene kits sourced from Europe. Military officials have said that other countries and organizations will also contribute food and money. Then at the Lanaka port, Israeli representatives will be present at as Cypriot, as Cypriot authorities inspect items. According to an Israeli official, the standards for inspection would be the same as those at the land crossings into Gaza. World Central Kitchen has tested the maritime corridor twice before at a smaller scale in March. The loading, scanning and inspection process for those two ships took between two and three days each. While the 250-mile journey from Cyprus to Gaza normally takes about 15 hours. The first ship, a partnership with the Spanish non-profit Open Arms, carried about 200 tons of aid, while the second carried more than 300 tons. Last but not the least, let's now take a look at the huge logistical exercise. According to the Pentagon, the plan includes two components that need to be assembled, a big floating dock of steel segments and a two-lane causeway and pier. The causeway will have interconnect, interconnected steel pieces linked together and attached to the shore. Cargo ships will deliver supplies to the dock and the aid will be offloaded onto barges from smaller vessels known as logistics support vessels or LSVs and taken to the pier. Now, from here, vehicles will drive the supplies onto land and then into Gaza. While safe distribution remains a challenge, experts say the hunger crisis in Gaza is human-made, is man-made. And United Nations, on the other hand, has also openly criticized Israel calling restrictions of aid, destruction of infrastructure and displacement of Gazans leading to starvation as a war tactic.